Hey everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the Eclipse Java IDE. So to start off, make sure you have the Java OpenJDK or some kind of version of the Java runtime environment because it's quite important to the process. But once you start up, open up a new tab on your favorite browser and go to eclipse.org. You can click the download button and just go ahead and download the latest package and uh, it should be Eclipse Installer Linux 64. Let it download. And uh, I already have it downloaded, so I'm not going to start it download. But after that, open up a terminal window, cd into the downloads folder. Once in the downloads folder, run the ls command, and you'll be able to see we have the Eclipse INST file right there. We can extract it with tar xvf and extract the contents. Then we can go into Eclipse installer, run the ls command once again, and then start the installation with Eclipse INST. So once you run that, you can just minimize the terminal and get it out of the way because the installer is all that we need. So now the Eclipse IDE for Java developers is what we need to install. So select this, click the install button, and it should install. Now, as soon as you go through the installation, there's going to be some software licenses. Go over them, read them, uh, then just click accept and let the app install. It's going to download everything it needs to do, and you can select these and click accept selected and remember to trust them. Once the installation is complete, you can see mine went fairly quickly. You can click the show readme if you want. You can see where the folder is if you want to know where it, the file's installed, which is just right here in the Eclipse folder on your home folder. And then you can click launch to enjoy the app. And uh, from here, you can set your default workspace and click launch. And then the Eclipse IDE will start up and then you can get to work on your Java development. So I hope this video was helpful. Eclipse is one of the most important Java development uh, interfaces that people use, so it's good to know how to get this working on Linux if you are a Java developer. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.